Uh, hello, my name is uh, Gary Cotomano, uh, also known as Gary C J K. Uh, now, as you noticed, I haven't been posting a lot of videos. I I've used to post a lot of videos about me modding Minecraft or uh, creating new programming stuff. Sometimes uh, RPG Maker stuff or uh, Mugen stuff. Um, the reason for that is that I've been bu busy writing a novel. Uh, it's more of a hobby project which I am trying to earn money from, but uh, yeah, I also I mostly uh, write my novel because I I enjoy writing and en I enjoy creating stuff, which is also why I've created uh, lots of stuff in RPG Maker and uh, Mugen and stuff. But uh, I just I I wanted to share my novel. Uh, it's been out for a while. Uh, you can. It's not done yet, but you can already purchase it and read it. Uh, the novel is called Eldritch Fairy Tales. Uh, link is in, the links in the description, as well as a coupon code to get to get a free copy. And I, I, of course, I, I hope you'll be purchase, purchasing my novel instead of getting a free copy. But uh, I, I really don't care if you get a free copy, as long as people read it uh, it's uh, that's important for me uh, now of course you're wondering what Eldritch fairy tale is about uh, let me tell first let me tell you the history of this novel um it started with uh it started a while back with uh project captain n project captain n basically was a reimagining of uh captain n the game master uh, uh what i wanted to do was Create a world where um, uh, uh, ha having a real person walk among Nintendo characters made sense, uh, and the way I did it was that everything we create with our minds, uh, uh, every fantasy we ha we've had, everything we've thought of, uh, every video game, every movie, every novel. Uh, every song, everything creates a new world, and each world can be sh shared with many people. Uh, um, let's put it this way: um, say you have a game like Super Mario Brothers. Uh, now, one per one person has in created the world of the Super Mario Brothers uh, series, and but a lot of people actually share the same world because they know this, the story or lack of story they know the world and it's in everybody's mind and so the world is actually more alive than than we think than we realize it is um or whatever i want to say anyway what i'm trying to say is um our imagination makes things alive uh, and makes worlds alive, and that's what Eldritch Fairy Tales is about. It's about fairy tales coming to life. Except we now live in a world where where we constantly have negative thoughts, and and yeah, my novel is mostly about optimism, and especially optimism in a world where. Uh, there's uh, there's something dark and sinister around um, the this message won't be really hev uh, heavily set into the novel and, su and such it's mostly just uh, just s s sort of a fantasy uh, adventure kind of novel uh, and it's mostly meant to en uh, to entertain people not to to bring out the message there is a message but the message isn't, isn't important as long as as you enjoy it and if you have a different message then well that, that's that's okay uh, novels are uh, in my opinion novels are there to, to to make you think and to make you uh, fantasize uh, about uh, different worlds and such and um, well yeah and and I just wanted to share this this uh, the world I'm, I've I've written and hopefully a lot of people will 
share uh, share this world with me. So uh, basically, the novel is about um, a guy called Edgar C. Howard. Uh, he's an amateur novelist and uh, a bookstore owner. Now, one night, uh, a, a woman comes in, uh, in the store. Uh, it's, it's a stormy stormy night, and this woman called Diana Pearson runs into his store trying to find shelter or something uh, or at least that's what uh, Edgar assumes and uh, slowly but surely there there grows a, a, a close friendship and eventually a, a romance but after a while uh, Edgar finds out that there's more to to Diana than he thinks and uh, the, the two meeting was wasn't a coincidence uh, so now uh, Edgar has to uh, and so now Edgar is being plunged into a completely new adventure one one he didn't expect one he didn't ask for but one he actually does embrace and it's basically basically about yeah about fairy tales and something eldritch so yeah that it's basically good basically that um, anyway uh, I'm currently write, writing the 13th chapter um, so yeah I hope you you'll read it and um, wait let me let me get uh, a chapter to to uh, give you uh, give you an idea of uh, of my writing style and such it, it eventually it will it will be uh, um yeah it, it eventually it will be uh edited to to, to be more uh, more or less uh um yeah oh, oh wait why am i downloading it so all right Windows 8. Um, anyway, I'll be reading a passage. It's from uh, the first chapter. It's it's the it's um, you can also find it in the preview, so you don't have to uh, get a free co uh, copy or purchase a novel to to read what I'm going to read. Um, it's from the chapter The Calm. It's the first chapter. Uh, it comes after forward. Uh, anyway, um, it's 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 when uh, Edgar meets uh, Diana, so. <coughs> it was a stormy summer night when she came to my store. I had already closed, closed it down, but stayed a bit to tidy up the place before going home, when I noticed a young woman was outside. She stood there, banging on the windows, wanted to, wanting to get in, as if she had no other place to go. I let her in, not even questioning her or asking what, what she did out there. What a night, I said. Things were never this bad. She remained silent. She didn't even have uh, she didn't have anything to protect her from the rain, not even a raincoat. All she had was a cloak and a basket, and I sh and I assumed the cloak didn't really help that much. Uh, apparently, she didn't re uh, seem to mind. But I did get a towel for her. You know, you you're lucky, I said. I was, go I was about to go home. She remained silent. My place was just upstairs, so I wouldn't have to go through the rain, and I really didn't, didn't feel like sending her back out. I hesitated a bit. I have a guest room. It isn't much, but at least you have a place to stay, at least until the sub a storm passes. Still nothing. I walked towards the door at the front door. Well, I'm about to lock this place up, so if you, still, if you want, still want to leave, you should do it now. Otherwise, you'd have to wait until tomorrow. She didn't make any move towards the door, so I decided to just let her stay and lock the store. I then moved to the back towards the stairs, where she followed me. I then showed her to the to the guest room. If you want, if you want to take a shower, you can just uh, take a clean towel from one of the cabinets. I'm gonna go and make some, make some dinner, so uh, you can join me if you want. To. Want, but it's just some leftovers. She said nothing, instead going to the guest room, closing the door behind her, me. 
As I went to the kitchen though, I heard her enter the bathroom where she indeed did take a shower. Since, wa since I was already done setting up the, f uh, the food, which only needed to be heated in the microwave anyway, uh, I searched for some old clothes that my grandmother left behind after she passed, aw passed away. My grandfather used to live here, but after sh uh, she passed away, he retired. So he just gave it to me, along with the stores, saying the house contained too many memories of his wife. He didn't even want, uh, want any of her old stuff. I took an old sheet of paper, wrote on it that she could borrow the dress and then placed it, along with the dress, on the, on the guest bed. After a while, when I had already heated the leftovers and began my meal of some old chow mein with some vegetables and fries from another joint, she was done with the shower and had already changed. During dinner, she didn't uh, say anything. It was actually pretty awkward, awkward uh, but I did try to break the silence by talking about random stuff. Eventually though I gave up and asked her if she wanted to watch some television, to which she nodded. I gave her the remote, but either the channel I put it on was already good enough, or she didn't really care much for television. As she was busy, busy watching television, I looked outside to see how the weather was. All I could hope was that the weather would improve. So basically, that's my uh, that's the f first part of my uh, novel. I might I might uh, read some more stuff for YouTube, and maybe you maybe it will convince convince you to to get this get, to get the novel, or at least give it a chance. You don't even have to pay for it. I, as I said, I'll be giving out uh, free coupon codes, uh, which are uh, which yeah, well which will be valid until 2019 uh, beginning of 2019 uh, it, it ends uh, it expires uh, at the end of 2018 so you have uh what uh about five years to decide so <laughs> and then if after these five years uh, you still want a novel and then you can always contact me for for new com coupon code so yeah there's no problem in that. So yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you uh, you enjoy it. If not, then no problem. Just uh, just just uh, just leave a comment in the comment section, um, and hopefully you'll return for 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 other things uh, I'm making. So so yeah. Cheers.